Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. And Gemini, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for March 23rd to the 29th. This week we have the Awakening Oracle card. We have the beautiful Wheel of Fortune, Magician, Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Ace of Wands and Queen of Swords. I love this reading, Gemini. Um, clearly, you know, whatever challenges that you have been through recently and now behind you and the winds of change are upon you, that wheel wants to turn. You are moving into a place of being much more powerful and victorious um, in a fresh new beginning and maybe even some kind of... Um, you know, uh, a, a spiritual awakening or a frequency change within yourself as well. So before we get to the tarot cards, I'm just going to read out the oracle card for you. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. You are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you incarnated. You may find that you are experiencing past life flashbacks seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even feeling Kundalini Shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it and stay grounded. Share your experiences with like soul people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering your soul and your gifts are emerging. Beautiful. Yeah, and you know, really often our uh, you know awakening and, and and shifting up a notch in terms of our energetic frequency comes after times of challenge in the recent past here i drew the five of swords and um i definitely got the clear message that whatever challenges you've been through gemini they're in the past now or you are on the threshold of that change uh, I, s I wanted to clarify that and uh, the king of pentacles came through so i'm really feeling that for some of you your trust was broken or some kind of commitment may have ended or been challenged in a way. Um, it also with the King of Pentacles, you know, you could have had some kind of financial loss. Maybe this was a relationship coming to an end and you had to divide the assets. Maybe one of the partners had a, a debt problem, that kind of thing. But really I am feeling the, the trust. And of course that's not just limited to relationships, guys. That can also be in a business partnership. Maybe somebody not being honest about the, the financials in the workplace, that kind of thing. And when I just finished clarifying, I did see the tower was at the bottom of the deck. So some of you may have been through a tower moment in this situation that, you know, caused you a deep level of conflict, either externally or in your internal world. The Five of Swords can be quite a cutting conflict. It's sort of a next step up from a Five of Wands conflict, which is more petty. You know, Five of Swords can be, um, you know, when the knives literally come out and you know, there are harsh words or arguments, um, but can become quite a battle. Like some of you might have been through a battle. You know, some of you may have had a big truth revealed with that tower energy. You know, a breaking down of an illusion, an illusion where, you know, you thought everything was, uh, you thought everything was in a committed situation and it had everything sorted and abundance was there. But maybe underneath it, it was a house of cards, somebody might have been siphoning off the money, that kind of thing. What was on the presented to you, to you externally was not was what was really going on internally or you know under under the surface, beneath the surface. So you know that that five of swords is a is a card of victory, but it's a victory that comes at a cost. So you know somebody might have been trying to gain some kind of victory over you, maybe by taking financial resources or maybe by you know, staying committed to you in a relationship, but playing around with somebody else. So we really want to transmute, um, you know, five of swords energy. And five is the, the number of conflict, guys, but it's also the number of change. So I always say when I see these five cards that change is the antidote to the conflict. It's what transmutes it. And um, guys, that's exactly what the Wheel of Fortune does. It is a extremely strong change because it's literally a luck change that wheel of fortune i love the wheel of fortune because it really is that divine you know shift or shake up you know everything changing everything shifting on a karmic level so for some of you this situation even though it might have been tumultuous or it might have been chaotic and um you know traumatic in some way it's likely that it was a karmic experience that you needed to have in this life to either transmute karma or to really figure out 
you know what you won't stand for in the future but that is done now that chapter chapter and you are having you know a deeper awakening now maybe actually seeing the hindsight and seeing why you needed to experience that so the wheel of fortune you know is said to have a 10 year energy so the shifts that you go through now could influence your next chapter your next decade in some way so the wheel of fortune indicates a luck change and they say look to the cards around it you know what way is the, the wheel going to fall well you have the magician you have the ace of wands this is about you becoming you know powerful again victorious you know full of passion a passionate new beginning is coming your way and um, Gemini you know you've got the page of swords here so a couple of uh, readings for this you know because also we have the queen of swords in the reading which can represent your energy as well um, the page of swords for me could be um, you coming back to your sort of um, inner child energy feeling light and free and young and fresh again after a situation that really probably took quite a lot of energy out of you but on a metaphoric level the page of swords is that wind of change is the beginning of progress it is you know the energy of feeling this wheel starting to teeter and knowing that at any moment it's going to you know just reach that tipping point where it turns it's kind of like the exciting rumbling that changes upon you so it's a really um, beautiful card it can also um, obviously pages are messengers in the tarot some of you could be receiving some information could have even be relating to the situation that somehow allows you to completely disconnect from it and understand now that you need to invest fully in the new beginning and just that it's almost like breaking a spell when you do that cutting those last karmic cords or energetic cords and then the wheel can freely spin and bring this new beginning into you so beautiful energies there strong energies very powerful as well yeah because we have this look at this ace of wands I love the ace of wands as the you know in the aces because this is about fire passion enthusiasm you know getting back your sense of self your sense of spiritual connection as well it can definitely indicate the sense of awakening spiritually to a deeper level but it also can be a passionate new opportunity or offer or new beginning so of course it can be in love it could be somebody coming in that you have a very you know deep sexual chemistry with um, you know somebody who you can be very passionate with if you think this is a you know potentially um, a work reading for you guys because obviously it can go either way in general readings this could be getting um, an offer for a job or a role that really aligns with you on a soul level that you know aligns with your passion and purpose and um, you know then that's obviously money follows when we're working in something that we're really deeply connected to but either way it says whatever this new beginning is that's coming in it has the ability to sprout and grow and go the distance but obviously guys aces are the you know first card in each suit of the tarot so they're kind of like seeds and we need to plant them nurture them water them and tend to them so that can look like when this opportunity comes in um, the very initial you know the very initial seeds but presenting itself to you like that stranger smiling at you in the cafe um, that you know conversation where someone says oh I've got a job that would really suit you it's then you know taking up on it taking it to the next step making the first moves that some of you may need to do that so yeah I love the ace of wands here guys really beautiful energy and then we have the Queen of Swords and the Magician. So I definitely think that whatever the opportunity is, you are going to grow and expand it really quickly because the Magician absolutely can do that. It's almost like you're being presented with a wand, an opportunity, a greater level of power. And here we see you as a Magician using that straight away, like, you know, absolutely being able to use the tools that are at your disposal um, the magician is also an awakening guys ties in with the oracle card an awakening to the fact that you are you are your own magic man or woman and you have all the tools that you require inside you to manifest what you truly desire for your life and you know that's what actually unlocks your infinite potential that's why he has the infinity sign um, over his head because the possibilities are endless basically we our only limitation in creation is ourselves so dream 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 very big that's what I see here and with the Queen of Swords I mean the Queen of Swords is somebody who it, it's almost like if you were sort of returning to your um, sense of infancy and your 
um, you know, your younger energy after that wheel turned because you were kind of coming back into your power and releasing some of the the, the weights of this old situation. The Queen of Swords sees you um, almost like in a, in a, in a maturity, uh, and this is in the near future, guys, and coming back into a place of power. The Queen of Swords is somebody who has real vision about what she wants to create and where she wants to head with her life. She can also see the big picture. She sits on this cliff top and she can see that eagle-eyed view all around her. So I think that some of you are going to have some hindsight about you know why things have played out as they have and what's led you to this moment and realizing that you're on um, maybe on the threshold of something great but this is what brought you there. The hardship brought you there. That's what I'm seeing there. Um, the Queen of Swords is also a victory card. Yeah, absolutely. And she knows how to make you know, the strategic moves in order to to move her life forward. Now, she's also, this this process of being able to see the big picture, joining the dots, making the strategic moves is very, very transformative. And that's why she wears the butterfly crown. Now, the magician can also, you know, transform. He's the great, he or she is the great alchemist. So I really feel that you're at a very pivotal time where you are almost doing the spiritual alchemy in your life. And you know where you want to head and you have got the ability to, to create that. And what you get about creating in these next few weeks or months, Gemini, is going to have an impact, a far-reaching impact under that Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune also says that it's divine timing for all of this to go down for you. And it's the confirmation that you are in the right place, exactly where you need to be. <clears throat> now, sorry guys, I have a few problems talking in this reading. Um, the Magician also talks about as above so below so basically your external reality will be a vibrational match for your internal realm so we really want to make sure that we're keeping a sense of purity in our thoughts and feelings and actions because we will start to draw that towards us from our external environment so it's a really good time to realize that at the moment you are a very powerful manifester so you need to make sure that you know you are um, keeping your own energy in the right place to bring towards you the great abundance that you want to um, create in your life or the opportunities that you desire. <clears throat> so beautiful energies, Gemini. I absolutely love this for you. You're on the threshold of major change. That's what I'm really seeing here. And awakening. Awakening to be able to understand the past, but also a deeper awakening for yourself that you're going to carry through into this next chapter. So Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Do keep in mind it's a general reading, so it won't be for every one of you guys. Um, feel free to leave me a comment because I always love to know how things are um, you know, playing out in your daily life and if they resonate. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.